Rohingya refugees living in overcrowded camps in Bangladesh already don't have enough to eat, and it's likely to get worse. The UN says it doesn't have the money to pay for food supplies. Starting from Thursday, monthly rations will be reduced to $8 per person. The UN says it needs $56 million to help Rohingya in Bangladesh. The government is hosting more than a million of the minority Muslims who fled persecution in Myanmar. It says the international community isn't doing enough to help. Well, Weiwei Nu is a Rohingya rights activist and she joins us now from Washington, D.C. Thank you very much for being on this news hour. I guess, first of all, can you just explain what does $8 a month get you? I mean, just how tight is that? Thank you very much. Um, so the $8 a month for a country like yours cannot even buy a salad, a meal. And now that the refugees has to leave a, a month, entire month mm. with this $8. And this is in the situations where refugees are already extremely at risk of malnutrition, scabies and other preventable illnesses caused by the food security. Mm. And now, there is no mechanisms for the refugees to fix um, this problem in the camps because they are already 100% reliant on international aid in every aspect of their life. Mm. And there is no access to education, employment, and opportunities for skill buildings or even to rent land so that they can um, make their living. Yeah, we know that this so, isn't, sorry to interrupt, we know that this isn't the, the first cut, it may very well not be the last. I mean, what happens if there are more cutbacks to, to the food? So what will happen is that it will just increase um, they, it will just put them in a greater risk of, risk of uh, protections and safety. So increase um, poverty as well as the crimes level will leave the refugees with no choices but to escape the camp. And these uh, escape ropes uh, over land and seas are life-threatening, risking uh, human trafficking and even that. In these situations, women and children and other marginalized groups are the most vulnerable. And parents are already thinking about sending their children to the third country by using these means, these dangerous yeah. means. Mm. So, yeah, this ultimately it is, it, is, it is essential that the international community take a comprehensive action to resolve this uh, crisis. And um, the, the, the food aid card actually reveal the system that international community has implemented for these um, genocide victims and survivors to protect these genocide victims and survivors um, is, is not sustainable or no. effective. No. Well, there's a $56 million shortfall. I mean, who's to blame for that? And, and where does that money come from now? It is. I think where it has come from, it's, it's again, you know, it's the international communities, donors countries, the UN need to come together, come up with a comprehensive solutions, how to address this in a way that is effective as well as, as sustainable, right? Um, and who, do, who does it blame for? It's the entire system that doesn't have a, a proper mechanisms to provide, to provide protections for these refugees, the vulnerable, as well as remember, these people are the victims of genocide mm. there is there is no this will just further exa um like um exacerbate their 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 trauma and the challenges they face um as well as you know it is it is um critical that there is um the, to realize this ground reality and have effective action, um, uh, um, solution towards this crisis. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for your time. That is Weiwei Nu, Rohingya rights activist. Thank you very much.